Yeah, sorry, you were saying Akash? So like uh, me, uh, Sangeeta and Mohamad, uh, sorry, Shafi. So we, we started working on it and like we are trying to uh, come on like uh, uh, like we have this different uh, point of view and we are trying to uh, come up with a single point and there was a problem like uh, uh, I'm putting my statement so we uh, ended up like uh, uh, like uh, having like uh, like literally one or two uh, points over there so mm -hmm. what we decided that uh, let's uh, like uh, already we had that uh, lecture at uh, three o'clock we have session so mm -hmm. what we decided that let's uh, write down whatever thoughts we have about uh, every uh, sections uh, on the page and we will meet after the session and we will discuss everyone's uh, thoughts and we will like merge those thoughts in a uh, so combine everything yeah, combine everything not everything but whatever the valid points yeah valid so by doing that we have some data right now but uh, still uh, there is incomplete okay cool what about the other teams uh, same here I mean, kind of same me hemant and joginder we are in the same team so uh hanman yeah hanman i said na but did i pronounce it round i'm so sorry <laughs> uh, sorry so me hanman and joginder we were in same team and uh, we came across few points and we were uh, confused with a uh, few other uh, things like there are a few uh, worksheets which we were confused and we let it be like that only and we thought that uh, uh, as we got a very little time to discuss and uh, you know come to one conclusion because everyone has a different way of thinking and different point of view so what we thought that after this session will be over we will uh, we will uh, you know clear our doubts with you specifically with you and a discussion with all other teammates because uh, they will uh, give us a little bit more idea about what we are going to do what we need to do in this worksheet and then we we'll, uh, definitely we are getting a time uh, the complete day Uh, tomorrow we are getting the time now so we will uh, uh, come up with a great worksheet what i think <laughs> okay uh, what about the other team uh salman swati and bhanu hello ma'am uh, we have done that but uh... Uh, we don't have that uh, copy man uh, swati is having that he did not join so only. yeah she has been trying to join i have been giving her access and i think she is having a network issue but how did it go for you guys we don't have that option um in the sense um Uh, I don't have that uh, uh, Zoom app in my lap, so I don't. I did not uh, able to share that. Yeah, hi, Nandini. Uh, like everything was fine. Like we were able to come up with the uh, themes, and we were able to uh, uh, figure out our audience. And uh, the place where we 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 got confused, we just referred to the morning notes. And uh, yeah, everything was fine. Like we also prepared some questions. Uh, maybe we need some feedback once. Uh, uh which uh, once we are showing to you you could give that feedback like uh, how we can frame questions or if there is any mistake okay okay can one of you all uh, just check back with swati what is happening with her yeah i'm just uh, getting in contact like she messaged me i just messaged her like what happened uh, she is telling uh, she is not able to join it's showing some connection only uh, it's showing some connection issues i think yeah she's been trying to she's <laughs> Okay, cool. Let's just get started then. Um, ठीक है. Let's look at the first research plan and let's all uh, share our insights. I will give you all sharing permission. Yeah. Oh, that's what is your. Okay. Yeah, I think. Yeah. Somebody <laughs> who wants to be the first guinea pig, the first lab rat. 
okay so i think i'll start him hanmant uh, we should start now joginder yeah okay yeah okay no so ha huh? yeah no problem yeah yeah okay. it's a disaster i know but still um mm-hmm. disaster yeah seriously i mean this one process you guys will have to embrace if you all are designers the first version will have to be trash if it is not trash there's something wrong okay wait wait a sec Can you see my screen? Yeah. Yeah. Right. So yeah, means we have just uh, wrote it down all the points what we uh, were uh, going through, what uh, it was going through in our mind, and uh, what the wh- whatever the points are given, like thoughts and concept. We have g- given the headings over here, and uh, the key points what uh, we thought, uh, we just wrote it down here. Okay, let me just let all of us just read it through. Huh, and- yeah. Okay, oh, should I uh, like speak louder? It will be more easier, no? No, no. Let's just go through it. Okay, fine, fine. Okay. <clears throat> Has anyone finished reading this? Should we go to the next? Are you swiping your screen? Okay. Should I swipe my screen? Yeah, please. Okay. ओके ठीक है ओके सो गाइज वॉट आर योर सजेस्टिव कंस्ट्रक्टिव फीडबैक टू अमीना जोगिंदर एंड हनुमत I think now it's visible no these two frames yeah okay everyone what are your thoughts like uh, uh, in the morning session uh, you are told us like just come up with three to four uh, themes in the place of thoughts constraints and barriers mm-hmm. so i thought uh, we should get into a theme like these are like Uh, separate points which are from different teams okay <clears throat> okay um theek hai what else do you guys feel um that these points make sense for uh, their respective headings so like uh, in a what you know uh uh these are the point uh, like uh, yeah this is the point that i uh, like we know about but uh, there are, there can be a different points which are uh, which can be more value added so basically uh i don't know but uh, i think these are the so uh, two like basic things we can like uh, uh, find out the more uh, options which can be value uh, add value uh, on the like risk for the research so basically okay like for what? example yeah for example like uh, just i will uh, uh just i'll uh, tell you like what uh, i am uh, 
like so basically like uh, so i will just tell you for uh, for example in the uh, bumble as there are three option dating bff this that yeah uh, we know so but here uh, we also know that uh, these uh, three uh, applications uh, like there is no difference in uh, these three dif uh, different like modes so here i think if i uh, we can add the point that we need to uh, differentiate uh, we know that the, there are three different modes but there is no uh, differentiation in the different modes so we can uh, add that uh, or create that di differentiation in three uh, these three modes so the uh, we can find the problems and these problems we uh, statements we know about this application uh, if we put it that way then we will uh, uh, like come out uh, we will figure out the problem statement over here i think so. I, I akash i want to add one thing here and thank you so much you uh, you know point out this point uh we are what is it what do you know about it is actually what are the i what i thought and our team thought that what are the plus points what are the what to, the app is giving us like they are giving three options and what you said is the problem thing which i think we should have added in the thoughts constraints and barriers in the barriers portion actually that yeah we are actually giving the three options but uh, there is no uh, what if we will uh, you know jump from one uh, one option to other option suppose from uh, bff uh, which uh, which you were discussing in the morning that we have three options and if we will jump from biz to bff then the uh, that might collapse you know the app might collapse and we will not get a proper notification and recommendation so yeah that is a problem and that i think should be added into the barrier portion so, yeah, but yeah thank you so getting little still like uh, ha we we are about, also confused so about what we where we have to put the, with, yeah you explain only the at the morning but still we yeah, have those points I'm... for example i had one point that i thought that we can put it in the how might we because i want to uh, do research on it and i want to uh, ask uh, like ask, not ask but i want to uh, more information from the users so i wanted to that point uh, should be in the how might we but when we, we were discussing that we uh, like uh, in the mutual understanding we decided to put it put that point in the i want to uh, know more about so that's what happening uh, here because okay. uh, yeah okay. okay cool um anybody else wants to say something or should i go ahead yeah i just wanted to ask something uh like you told that uh, just uh, don't think of the problems don't think of any uh, issues which you are facing uh, in the app and just think of it in a new perspective like uh you just wanted to know what people opinions are you just wanted to know what uh, uh people care about so like i was thinking like uh, when uh, uh, when i'm looking into what you know i was just thinking like these are things which are already in app like i just wanted to know what things uh, are general like these are specific to apps i just wanted to know uh, in a general perspective like what users care about mm. like uh, what you know like uh, i know that uh, uh, females uh, generally don't want to expose their data or uh, their photos in private mm. so that's what i know like i'm i'm thinking in that uh, broader perspective like i don't yeah. know like what's a uh, should i uh, think in a specific way or in a broader way Oh, Amina, there is one point: give equal rights to all genders. Yeah. Like in Bumble, uh, we have given rights to women; like they can start conversation. No, 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 no. Uh, Watch that point. Yeah, that point is uh, means in. Uh, uh is actually think about a user perspective okay in that perspective i just gave a uh, simple constraint that uh, only the women can start a conversation so the male people will think ki yaar we are not getting any preferences over here so we'll just uh, back out from this you know there are uh, the main concept is that they are giving right to women so they can take the first step 
yeah that is a positive thing of bumble but <laughs> we can we can add it as a thought process here that yeah we are not giving what are what are the what are people perspective perspective on uh, this point that uh, we are not we are giving women the uh, you know uh, power to uh, uh, message first or maybe uh, uh, go for it first that's what i thought about and uh, hanmant and joginder So we are not giving equal rights. We are giving right. No, right I think this and... point was given by J- Hanman. No, please, can you explain? Yes, sir. I checked the uh, blog that this mentioned that women have a right to first chat with or send notification or start first conversation or send message. So you I... can write that as a constraint, like uh, we are not giving right to male to open a conversation. We are giving. I told only to females to open a conversation or take first step. So it's yeah. just a constraint. Like you are not giving equal rights. No, no, no. It's not in a negative manner. I think what I understood, it's not in a negative thing. Not We negative. are actually, yeah, it's not in a negative thing. It's, it's the app is actually suppose a transgender yeah, is. Uh, suppose yeah, that. What suppose, I actually want to tell is the, uh, the the same right what women has uh, in this app should also have uh, should also give the right. to men also not only for women yeah men as well as the transgender uh, because we, we there are is... not telling that we should remove that thing for a uh, women exactly it's, it's like we, uh, even men have that right so then they think that why we are using bubble, they have specifically they have made for women no 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 it's not like that like, no, no. i know take first step it's a it's a like uh, means what i how to explain like Uh, uh, it's like uh, for the safety purpose you are saying it's good because there are a lot of creepy people who will yes. yeah there are a lot of creepy people who actually uh, you know uh, uh, harass women okay yeah. which happens in all the apps okay but there will be if we are giving equal rights to the male as well as the transgenders that yeah they can also you know initiate that hi i am doing this there are also genuine genu- genuine no, no, people but bumble stag line will change no Okay. Um, basically, these thoughts are not only for Bumble; it's like dating application. Oh, because these are the initial okay. thoughts of dating. If it is for dating app, app, that's fine. But it's for if it is only for Bumble, then it's like okay. it's uh, it's like oh. a overall like we are thinking now. Okay, okay, okay. Overall, it's okay. Cool. So, um, great. Thank you, guys. Very, very valid points that all of you have brought. So let me try and address each one of them. What Sangeeta said is, I think, a valid point. But I think what you guys also are trying to say, and please correct me if I'm wrong, is you are talking about equity more than equality. Is basically whoever like when you say trans, when equity, you say transgender, I'm assuming you're also talking about anybody else who um, is finding the app is some form of barrier, and you know how to make sure that all of them get that equal experience, but ensuring safety. Exactly. Right, yeah, exactly. That's a very valid point. And the point that the other brought up about or uh, looking at it as a broader way, that's also a valid point. So, um, what I liked about this is honestly, I think this is good to go. Uh, I have no idea why you guys were confused and all. It was very clear. Very clear points are there. So it's good to go. What I would add though is yes, um, adding some points which are a little broader view. Okay. So which is not just focusing on the app, because. Um, It, I'm getting a sense that most of the point, not most, but majority points are revolving around the app and app features. So, okay. the so basically, what happened is before this, uh, what we discussing is we uh, three of uh, us had uh, research about the app. That's why the our thoughts are completely on like uh, we are not diverting the thoughts. Uh, without the knowing of the app, then we can have the thoughts. But once we are we research about the app. Remember that you didn't. Bring in your uh, mind map points, which are all those points of. Um, yeah, exactly. Yeah, I did not bring the mind because uh, while creating mind map, I don't even have. Uh, I don't even know what is Bumble, but now I know. I know what is Bumble, how it works, and uh, so that's why the points change here, right? So that's the thing that you needed to put down those points as well. Those points also are important because you are looking at it as. In fact, you would have been. Your mind map has a lot of value because without knowing what the app is about, you have your own opinion, your own thoughts, your own perspective about how dating happens, which also has value. 
Yes. So it will be interesting to put that because so what if you know Bumble comes to you and says that we want um, to completely revamp whatever we have now, trash it completely new. So then you don't want to look at what is existing. You want to then you want to start from basics and understand actually how do human relations work or what do people look for dating. Look at the broader question. So this is great. Please keep these. Do not delete these. But also add uh, like a slightly zoomed out kind of uh, theme about generally what are people's expectations from dating or generally what why people want to date whatever those yeah, questions we thought of like uh, developing a yeah. bumble app yeah in that in that way we think so. yeah cool. we actually thought about uh, we means our whole thought process actually revolved around the bumble app specifically and, and there what are, the features of competitors uh, different uh, uh, okay in that way we uh, thought then now when you are working on your iteration Sorry, there are too many flights right now. Yeah. So in your iteration, you'll be working on another version at those points. Okay. Uh, this is this is good to go. So okay. you so you are uh, just one point. So you're saying ki I should add a general topic on uh, what you know, like what we know about uh, dating and other apps, right? Yeah, That's... it should be like a scratch, I think. <laughs> About dating, about other apps. Hanuman, can you mute yourself, please? Yeah. Thank you. About dating, about other apps, about any other thoughts that you feel make sense in terms of dating. See, online dating is a fairly new concept. Given the 70,000 years that human beings have been on the planet, online dating is very, very young. So people have been connecting with people. Okay. So maybe think about it in that sense also that uh, what are the other ways in which dating happens what are the other ways dating as a word what are the other people ways people connect okay 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 hmm? yeah okay next page yeah. oh shit it... it's okay it's okay uh where it was identify places inspiration i think that is in the next one yeah this one only no, next okay. one. I don't know. I just... Uh... Identify source of inspiration, identify place of inspiration. Yeah, is that yeah it's right on the right Um. Yeah, here I have con a confusion, which I'll ask uh, later. Love Guru, wonderful. <laughs> Okay. What's your question? Yeah, the question is uh, uh, definitely first question is, is it a complete scenario is correct or not? And second thing is what what we should add into the list of people we want to interview. I, I write it here, my sister's name, actually. So I was confused ki we need to write a, a actual person name that we have interviewed later or earlier that we I mean, me and Joginder were confused between uh, this uh, later and earlier, uh, you know, debate that we have to first interview people and then we have to write the names. And I was saying, ki, no, we have to make a list of 20 people. We have to connect those 20 people. And then we have to circle the, those three to five or maybe all the 20 people who actually responded and we get uh, outcomes from. So, yeah. Okay. Okay, so uh, so before I answer that, anyone has any input on this? And yeah, it's seven, so I would take okay, it. Let's keep a track of the time. Anyone has any quick, quick inputs on this? What do you all think? I want to hear from someone, uh, Salman. What is your thought on this? Hello? Yeah. No, 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 no. Do you think this is good to go, or do you yeah. think? Yeah, uh, because uh, we think uh, uh, related to this only. Okay, so, Shafi. Man, it's really clear who is the people extreme users expert. So it's really clear. I agree with you. Yes, very, very clear. Very, very um, well structured. So it gives me a clear picture of who exactly you're looking at, who your audience is, which is great. In terms of your question, list of people we want to interview, yes. You will, so the idea behind this is so that when it's the moment for you to interview, you don't just randomly start searching. 
so you this is part of your process where you have that list ready and maybe you would want to it depends on how you want to go maybe you will start uh, approaching people one by one and whoever has agreed to interview with you you circle them or tick them or whatever and then maybe after you finish interviewing them you whatever double whatever that's up to you how you want to go about it but this list is to um, is before you interview to confirm who are the people that you will be approaching yeah okay that's what that was my confusion so now uh, you have put down your system which is great um apart from that now you can look at these people look at your extreme users your experts and whoever and think who you want to talk to so you do not need to limit yourself to people who use dating apps it can also be you can also talk to an elderly person and see what their opinion on dating i have given extreme users as elderly generation so i saw that and that's why i suggested that okay okay so uh, nandini i was lit- little uh, confused about extreme users means the people Uh, who are not really using the applications or who are re- uh, real like uh, I'm, yeah, it's like was, very rare the people who rarely use the application maybe which who are not very much frequent familiar or yeah. okay the people who um who don't um use it frequently yes okay yeah, uh, I, i got confused morning that's why it was yeah. very like um maybe the uh, they can be the users like uh, which we haven't designed for yes. like yes so basically it's anybody who you think would want to use it but the app has not been designed for them okay for example um for a two wheeler okay any two wheeler any moped two wheeler um anybody for that matter anybody can uh, use it but then an extreme user would be somebody who um who I has a walking the, disability who has like those people who are a tiny people so basically yeah can't, uh, yes so maybe them so that is an extreme user it's not been designed for them but yeah they can they still use it with a lot of difficulty but they use it so in okay. that case uh, the uh, 18 means below 18 age people will come to extreme users that uh, one day they will become 18 and we can interview them that what do you think about dating so is this the scenario no the legally i don't think that yeah. is how we would do it <laughs> yeah, even uh, below 18 people hello to find you yeah uh... Yeah, even uh, uh, people below age eighteen also use can use these apps. They right? can, but um, see there now there's an interesting age, age limit. Uh, one is based on our legal system; it's not uh, allowed. But um, so then your question is: Do you want to design an app which stops them from using it, or do you want to design an app that encourages them to? Use Yeah. So, uh, yeah. you got to think about the wider thing because if you want to encourage them, what is the consequence of that? It mm. may be a good thing, it may be a fun thing. That's fine. But is there a a, um, a risk of abuse or a risk of you know privacy being violated? I don't know. So there are so there's a network of other things that open up that you got to think about. They will use it because honestly, nobody who understands uh, technology the way young younger people do. That is. for that matter nobody understands technology like a five year old does or a four year old does so uh, which is true so yeah so extreme user will be somebody who uses it but it's not been designed for them hello santini so, one more thing uh, so transgenders will also will come extreme users right you could put them okay you could put them um you could uh, put them but i would suggest do some research because if i'm not wrong all these apps like bumble and all I, uh, it's allowed it's allowed to uh, for transgenders and same there is like, a, yeah but most uh, most transgenders uh, use this uh, type of app because uh, they can't explore uh, they can't find right people in uh, different places right if uh, they don't they don't have any special for, platform for transgenders transgenders can also uh, like uh, they can uh, see male and female like there is no uh, thing that uh, transgender should only see transgender right yes 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 yeah Whatever so they could you all could maybe do a little research on that 
like how it's, it's actually a very important point to think about that how it should things like this how are these apps handling that or are they only looking about thinking about women is it all about women who are, who are they thinking about so that's an important point swati you asked you can do a little research on that and think about it okay um experts um i would suggest to also include um app creator ux designer okay yeah. i'll add here only ux designer yeah maybe a design lead or ux designer some form of ux or uh, app creator project manager anybody because it's important to know from their point of view also if that happens okay. but apart from that this is good list of people you now make your own list based on this okay okay let's move on let's move on should i move uh, the slide sorry sorry uh, offline ha this is also good identify place of inspiration is also good next okay. okay next slide you want me to swipe yeah. uh okay define your audience age group between 21 and 30 and We could not specify what uh, our roles are, so we just wrote our name. That's fine. Yeah. Only during COVID. Okay. We need casual relations. Okay. Okay. I feel it's good. Anybody wants to add something? It's a it's a lot of disturbance. Hello, am I audible? Yeah, you are audible, but there are a lot of disturbance. I think other people are not in mute. Okay, whoever is not uh, talking, can you unmute yourself, please? Okay, cool. So, anybody have wants to add something, or should we move on? Do you think this is good to go? ठीक है. आगे बढ़ो. Select research participants. See, so this yeah, one, this one, yeah, this one is the uh, main uh, the slide which we are were very much confused about user type and user description which again come into the section like uh, when we are going to uh, put our thoughts over it after the interview or before the interview so before. we just left before now means yeah. I, i didn't understand the uh, point what we have to do so i just left it like that uh, we, means uh, we thought that we will uh, come across the session and we will uh, get to know what exactly we have to do here and then later on we'll add our points okay So the yeah. purpose of this is that it is possible that based on who my user type is, I will have a different questionnaire. Okay. Okay. So uh, if maybe elderly or uh, senior citizens is my user type, I'll have different questions. Maybe I'll ask them about how dating was in the nineteen seventies. Mm-hmm. So basically, But, uh, we have to come across the questions regarding to the uh, particular category. Um. Ideally, yes. But since you guys have zeroed down on a very specific user type, which is Twenty one to thirty. You all can stick to one questioner. Okay. Fine. So your user type will more or less be the same. Maybe you all could do. Um, see, maximum I think you guys would have two user types. One is your main core audience, hmm. and second could be either one of your experts or your um, extreme users. Okay. Right. So based on that, your questions would little bit have to change. Okay. 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 So this happens before your. Okay. Okay. Um. Okay, this is the question part. What is your name? What do you do? Have you ever used dating app? If not, why? If yes, what is the experience? What app do you use? Okay. 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 Everybody, a uh, quick input. <clears throat> Quickly, guys. Uh, the like in the broad uh, broad like in the open ended question the questions are like uh, uh, really good i just uh, maybe uh, i think uh, uh, rather than asking just what because sometimes uh, you know your user don't know what he wants basically <coughs> sorry 
Hmm. Sometimes uh, and even like uh, I just prefer one uh, 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 like what is that one case study or uh, I don't know what that is a, a blog about uh, conducting user research how to conduct I will share that in the resources. Hmm. So that blog says that don't ask a uh, user like uh, uh, if, uh, first that uh, yes no questions and second that. uh don't ask uh, users what he wants because sometimes user don't know what he wants you have to uh, uh, identify or you have to rectify that what users uh, really want so rather than asking asking like for example uh, what are the expectations from the dating app just create a scenario where uh, you are you are trying to get users experience about that scenario so basically he will explain his experience and you have to understand uh, and listen and observe him and you will get those uh, where he is actually uh, what uh, expecting from that uh, dating app rather than just asking him so okay. that is my input uh, so and uh, yeah how how uh, i just found out three questions like in the go broad section the last three questions right like uh, like the we are not conducting uh, interviews like we are not approaching participants uh, specifically who are using uh, bumble app right no no it's for no, no. overall no yeah, it's no overall. it's for overall like user friendly means i will give you a scenario uh, like an example uh, long ago i used to use uh, microsoft you know nokia lumia phone and now i am using android phone at that point of time i found uh, lumia which is not very much user friendly but android as a user friendly phone so that way we thought that ki if a person is using a dating app means for those people who are using any dating app how how they are finding it user friendly or it is complicated okay yeah so you are talking about general dating app not just about bumble so uh, i think the question could be reframed like what what challenges did you face uh, like uh, while using any other dating apps or what what things which you liked using other dating apps instead of uh, the framing question in this way like Uh, there could be one answer like uh, whether the app is friendly or complicated to you they might be yes it's easy or it's complicated like they won't be able to uh, uh, explain or elaborate on that part and also the subscription basically, plans yeah basically we had it we had that question it's a type of yes or no question uh, okay it's, it's like a survey a survey type of thing if yes we can continue with next question we will build up the questions if not if no we can end up the questions right okay uh, that's fine how we ask in the google forms or like, a, yeah. like it's a type of survey it's like what you have not yeah, like why Ak- you Ak- have akash asked this there, uh, there is no need of yes or no questions yeah, it's, it's right it's uh, but we can create yes or no questions in surveys right okay that's fine and also i think the last second one like what do you think about subscription plans instead of that uh, we can ask in a broader way like what do you think about uh, buying a subscription uh, if you want to use a da- dating app that could be a bro- uh, like a general one uh, not just specifically about our app that like i was just thinking about that like what is it right or not i don't know just looking for the answer from nandini as well okay um so first of all both of your points are very very valid i think um amina joginder hanuman also should definitely take them uh, akash's point also is valid about um so what i would say is yes it is in some sense important i guess to ask specific questions and in some sense it is important to not ask specific questions but to to ask indirect questions because sometimes they don't know and sometimes they give the wrong answer because they don't know basically but um sometimes also what happens is i'm speaking from experience where i tried this where in one interview all my questions were indirect questions and i got completely wrong answers like no connection only to my uh, to what information i wanted so that's when i realized that some questions have to be direct to um, nail them back in to trigger like in to, to bring them back to point so so this i think will happen with experience and you all can um, while you do each interview you all can see how people are responding and if you're getting responses that you want okay but yes add a few of why questions or how questions that will um, add more quality to your uh, interviews in terms of you'll get a better sense of their experience or their expectations from an experience uh what banu is also saying is valid um so for example this question about what users think about the subscription plan it will actually be interesting if you ask them have you subscribed to anything 
so they can be like uh, yeah i subscribe to netflix and prime so they can be like what else do you subscribe to I'm like nothing else because i only care about movies or whatever or i could be someone i'm like i don't subscribe to anything so then you know that whether that subscription model is there or not this person is not going to subscribe it's not in their nature so it gives you a lot more information about them so in fact it will be interesting to add questions about their general uh, digital habits not just dating apps but in general how frequently do they use their phone or um, you know are they on instagram or are they on any other thing or how comfortable are they with texting or talking on the phone because that will give you a sense of what kind of people you are so you know that even if you add this sorry so you know that even um, if you add a particular feature will they use it or not you only know when you know what habits they have so um so these are great questions because they are very specific um add to these more generic questions to know more about them so add questions about um you know in general who they are as people their aspirations their fears um maybe their um, their opinion on relationships on dating okay things like that so i think that anybody else wants to add anything more okay cool do you guys have any questions about this no nothing else um no yeah, yeah basically I... we we prepare this question based on the answers we get from the staff to speak right if the But, uh, first of all we was what app you use for dating mm-hmm. if at all he uses the uh, bumble app then the question uh, changes if at all he uses the bumble app then we can ask about what the, do you like the subscription plan of the bumble app if at all you he, he does not uses the bumble app then there is no question of the subscription plan then yeah, that uh, will be a general question that whether yeah, you use exactly. a subscription or not we added this question in all uh, all type of uh, ways not only uh, for bumble app not only for dating application is uh, questions are based on the answers we get from the uh, the starting questions like uh, do you have experience in dating application using dating in, in that way okay so overall i wanted to yeah just one minute overall i wanted to add here is somehow some in some points we have uh, thought about only the bumble app and in some points we have thought about in uh, what the general dating app will do so i think there is bit confusion about it yes, and uh, yeah uh, yeah so later on i think we have to add lot more uh, generic co- generic questions and generic points also that's so all so did you all look at the links that i shared on slack no yes yes the later the later two links i haven't seen that okay please get it because that address is exactly what we were talking about now Okay. So there is one. I will quickly uh, go through that right now for everybody. Uh, I actually, I don't know why it got deleted. So I put it in the in the folder. So did you guys pick it up from the folder by any chance? So there is this file by um. Half. It's there in the folder called. Resources. uh can you stop sharing for a minute i'll just quickly take you through this sure sure okay so this is there in your resources folder okay starter questions for user research um it's called this is the heading of it it's read all this stuff okay why research matters blah 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 so then here they explain what kind of questions you need to ask so first you start with intro questions so these are your buckets these are your themes so your first theme is what kind of you know these sort of things what is a typical week they look like tell me about your role at your company any lifestyle questions that are related to their product so like um what are your thoughts about dating what is uh, how often do you meet people are you a social person are you an introvert what sort of person are you how do you like to what kind of close friends do you have so you get to know about them so that is first your intro questions then your next is your topic specific questions so if say it is about whatever so what's your relationship like with fitness or money so for you it will be what are your thoughts specifically about dating so now you zero down now you narrow it down so then these are questions which are related to that 
so how do you currently go about it so whatever my thoughts are about dating so say i am a person who believes in um, i don't know that there is only one person for me in this world i don't know so then how do you currently go about how do i go about finding that one person for me in the world so i could say i just believe in luck i don't believe in doing these things i believe in just going about and i meet people if i have to meet people or i could say no i want to actively go about it so that way you so these are more topic specific questions so this is segment 2 then your segment 3 is product opportunity question so here is now where you talk about bumble so first you understand that bit and then you talk about bumble and then a uh, product reaction is more like user uh, testing but you can hear then talk about these questions what's your opinion about this product what's the hardest part blah, blah, blah. so even if they haven't used bumble or they've used any dating app then you can still ask these questions right yeah. and yeah that's about it so basically um you segmented that way you you don't directly throw them into the pool you gradually little 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 take them in so ask them a little about themselves then ask them about their opinion about dating then ask them about what do you think about online dating so step by step okay cool so your questions are there you just need to just restructure them a little bit and add a few more generic questions okay cool uh, was there anything more to your uh... no i think that was pretty much it uh there is this probe deep where we all uh, I think. Uh, do you have any feedback about this probe deep? From probe the deep. I'm thinking you're looking at ideas how you can probe deep. Yeah. The uh, yeah the steps. That's fine. Not exactly that. What wise we have to ask means there will be then hundred and millions of questions. So we just came from the hint what we understand that we just have to think about ways how we are get, uh, gonna go deep into a customer you know cycle. Uh, I mean, use the psychology. That's it. so. I'll tell you what one thumb rule when you're interviewing. So it obviously makes no sense of listing down all the questions because you don't know. But uh, one thing is that when you're asking them, try as far as possible to get to the emotional need because there is nothing deeper than that. Okay. Once you hit that, then you know you covered everything. Okay. And sometimes they will not know that also because they'll be like, "I want to use, so I want to use." Like, what do you mean by "why I want to use"? Yeah. So, uh so yeah so that happens cool cool yeah okay anybody wants to give any last 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 final final feedback to you guys what about okay. observation yeah that's what i was talking about like we just go through these uh, three to four i think worksheets and others we were confused about that what we have to do that's why we couldn't complete basically observation is uh, done Thanks during the interview right do Yeah, after interview, what we are going to observe? No, during the interview, what we observe? Yeah, during the interview. Yeah, yeah, it will be the tomorrow. They will uh, react to tomorrow because we don't interview anyone, right? No, but then you will have to make a list of the things that you would want to observe because in that moment you may forget. Okay, okay, okay. okay. We thought we thought of that. Oh, uh, it's like what we observed then. Ha huh, what what we we observed is the last page but there's okay, one page okay. uh, which talks about what are the things that you want to observe what are the specific areas so you want okay. to observe their tone you want to observe their emotion um observe it will be mainly related to things like that okay fine okay cool thank you so much i think this is terrific uh, given the fact that it's your first research plan it's very very on point thank definitely you. one more version of iteration based on the feedback otherwise great okay good. so okay. i'll st- uh, stop sharing then yeah please. yeah uh, so can we sh- uh, share that share our project hello hello yes. yeah can we share our Hello. Yeah. 
Yeah, like I was just asking that who is the next one? Like, can we share or? Okay, uh, like Swati was. Uh, I'm waiting for Swati to share. Like I was just asking. Uh, yeah. So can you see now? Are you can you see the screen now? No, it no, it's still loading. Yeah, uh, no, it just opened. Netish, yeah, yes. What's happening? Uh, I think the internet is show. Should I uh, share? The way should I share it? Like yeah, like we stop it. Okay, just give me a minute, now. I'm just. Uh, Okay, then let me share the screen. Okay. Yeah, maybe she's having some issues. Let me share the screen. Just a minute. Okay, you have to mute one of your devices. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yes, sir. 
Yeah, I just left from other device. Uh, I'm just sharing the screen. Just. Swati, can you stop sharing? Can you see my screen? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so. One second. Can everybody see his screen? No, it means it's showing the Figma and it's. Uh, maybe Swati should uh, stop sharing. Yeah. Uh, Swati, can you hear us? Like. Uh... Hello? Why am I not able to stop her from sharing? Swati, are you with us? Uh, maybe like a minute to... Uh... Yeah. Yeah. Okay, uh, now you are able to see, right? No, now you share. Now, now you Can... need to. Okay, I'm just sharing. Okay. Yeah. No? Is it fine? Yeah. So, we just came up with uh, four themes like why people uh, want to quit or uh, won't go for online dating. And the second theme would be like, uh, what makes people stick with the online dating and what's the uh, like what uh, what they want to accomplish like what what's the use uh, for them so i thought that would be a second uh, theme for us mm -hmm. privacy and conscious making new connections online so like what people are thinking uh, like what issues they are facing that could be a sec uh, third topic personal life after covid uh, like after covid pandemic uh, like i just wanted to know like uh, uh, what people uh, want to like how people are interacting with other connections or other people like uh, family members or whatever it is like how they are interacting and like what's the uh, uh, what issues they are facing if they want to meet or if they want to uh, gather together so that that's uh, one kind of thing we want to explore so these were our things okay yeah and after that uh, uh, i just came up with how I, how might we like how might we able to help users uh, who are thinking of making uh, online dating a good experience? So I I, th I thought in a broader way, like I don't know, like I just uh, uh, forgot, I just forget about that, and I was I, I just wanted to explore what makes that uh, you uh, what makes their experience a better thing, and uh, how might we able to help users of, uh, for find perfect partners and that thing? Yeah, you can just go through yeah, uh, like. Okay, if everybody's read, should we move to the next one? Okay, can we go to the next yes, one? Yes, While investing time, just a second, just small little bit. Okay. Uh, this first bit, guys, any input? So basically, is it possible to show both the sides together? Kind of, sort of. Yeah, yeah. Hi. Yeah, perfect. Input base quickly, quickly. I did not understand this. Why people are not able to make new connections? Which section? Yeah, uh, I want to know more about. Okay, uh, like, 
if people are not able to make new connections i just wanted to know like what what's the constant or what's the problem which is stopping them to make new friends or make new partners or whatever it is people are uh, making new connections why do you think that people are not able to make new connections because of pandemic we thought uh, because of pandemic um, maybe they are facing some issues or maybe you know, due to their uh, fear maybe due to their some inconvenience i just wanted to know if they are not making what's the issue i'm not telling that uh, like i'm not assuming everyone is not making connections like i just wanted to know what fears if you are having any fears or if you are having any issues then what could that be okay okay any other question or any other input sangeeta do you have any input to give them no ma'am do you think this is good to go uh, i think i already know that section i don't really agree with that which part you don't agree with i already know we need to improve how we recommend connections and also like in that section we need to add like the what we already know okay okay actually there is this confusion that uh, what exactly we need to put in uh, each of the sections what already know may include positive uh, version or may include negative version like here um, bhanu has given we need to improve how we recommend connections and also whatever he is given so we like we as a designer we know the flaws and we uh, we know these are the flaws and we have to improve it mm. or The, uh, or the other uh, aspect is that yeah these are the points that our product is actually delivering so there are two two aspects so that's the confusion that what we need to you know put here so there are multiple aspects not just those two so one is yes that there are certain flaws that need to be addressed second is yes that uh, related to the app the, the app itself but also um but also in general you know maybe you all i already need to do related to the pandemic or i already know certain things related to people's opinion on dating or i already know in india some percentages on dating so it's it's not just related to the app and it's not just related to concerns but it's the, it's basically um taking stock of what is happening right now yes uh, it's type of facts yeah it's kind of like that okay so if nobody else has i will give my input i think um so what i think is that you could still flesh this out a little more um because so like say thoughts constraints barriers okay i'm only looking at negative points because there are thoughts also so um why people quit so okay did you guys take ideas from your mind maps yeah we actually uh, picked up topics based on that like we just wanted to explore uh, things like uh, why people are quitting online dating like we basically want to improve their experience right so what we thought is like uh, let us consider people who are not uh, willing to use this app or so people who are uninstalling this app so i just picked up few things uh, like related What? to that Okay, yeah. so what am I? I'm understanding, and please correct me if I'm wrong. Is you picked up particular theme topics? Yeah, exactly. Like yeah. I just wanted to know what's the issues uh, they are facing Fine. to quit quit that part. Apart from this, so what I'm observing is point one, two, three are very online dating related, and point four is COVID related. So yeah. maybe add maybe one more point related to um, dating general dating expectation. Okay, not necessarily fine. online dating, but Oof. see, because one thing is that um, we need to remember that if you look like online dating is not a new concept. I mean, dating is not a new concept; it's always been there. It's just that it's being migrated to a digital platform. So it's basically something that people are anyway doing physically. How do you bring that into a digital platform? And people who are not able to do it physically, how do you bring that? So the idea of dating is not new. So then you want to know more about physically also how people are dating. 
so um, so just i think one point of that i think this is good to go yeah okay i and just I, include that yeah definitely yeah. uh then how might we 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 didn't uh how might we to move to the secure help people and more useful connection to the school connections okay so um again great points and i like how you are not sticking down to bumble you are being very online dating but also maybe you could add one or two points in all your sections uh zooming out a little more on dating in general okay not just on it this is for yeah. all of you uh, maybe don't stick just to bumble or don't stick just to online dating also look at dating as the the concept of dating what do people think about that itself yeah like uh, that's uh, in the home might we section uh, we just wanted to uh, generally uh, ask questions regarding dating not just about that so maybe uh, as you said like i should include that in the thoughts and conscience and uh, yeah everything uh, we just thought That and this point that Sangeeta brought up about uh, we need to improve how we recommend for me also it's a little it sounds a little dicey. Uh, uh, I, uh, yeah, even I have the same issue with that point because yeah, like uh, 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 Banu feel that it was uh, that it, he has that issue, but I feel that I don't have that issue. That so point should be, that point should become after the research after the interview. That should be it should come after the interview. It's like like which point, point you are telling about? Oh, I already yeah. know. Or I want to know more about. No, no. Yeah, no, you no, already. No, how no, can no. you already know that it was a, uh, uh, not uh, right? Yeah. So basically, uh, what we thought was like initially, we just thought to include points from a Bumble app. So it was there in the in that situation. Like we just went through Play Store those reviews. So <laughs> it was included with oh, that mindset. Fine, so fine. what you can do is you can move that point to I want to know more about. So how yeah, can you that, talk about improving uh, whatever? Yeah, that that's the exact thing we can do. That yeah, that's good thing. Hmm? Yeah, I'll just do that later on. Yeah. Yeah, I'll do that later. Okay, building your team. ठीक है. Um, your audience. Uh, should I show you audience? Okay. Yeah, just show the audience. Team bit is okay. Uh, teenager, singles, people looking for life partner, looking for making new friends, people who are new dating, widow, elder people above forty, elder people above forty. Wow. <laughs> okay, like you really narrowed down the youth. Okay, handicapped and transgender. Okay, any inputs, guys? Ma'am, people who are new to dating, they are poor audience. Yeah, it could be because uh, everyone uh, who who installs the app would wouldn't be a uh, experienced person. Yeah, right? you can write online dating then because people are familiar with dating. No, uh, like the thing which you are telling is only through online. Like I was in a broad uh, prospect, like not just through online, but also is new to dating, completely new. Like you just crossed eighteen years, so you just want to explore that. So. You can you could uh, look at those people as well. Okay, that is a valid point that Sangeeta brought up to think about because uh, it's an interesting um, audience you thought of that they are not yet in the dating zone, but they are they have a lot of potential of being your core audience. So they're in a very interesting crux. So you could put them as your core audience as well, or you could put them as on uh, as extended. But I think keep it as core audience as well. Like uh, this, uh, like people who are all uh, people who are new to dating, like it's already included. Like I didn't get your point exactly. So okay, th- these point is one to five. These are core audiences, right? Yeah, these are core audiences. Yeah. So what I was saying was, Sangeeta's point was right that these people who are new to dating, it's an interesting point because they are still new to the dating app, so they're not exactly your user yet. But at the same time, they have the potential of being a core user, like you said, okay. people are just turning eighteen. So I'm saying I'm agreeing with you. Keep it. That's all I'm saying. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Agi. Okay. You have already come to the dating app. Already attending many meetups and dating. Okay. 
those are users uh, these are exports and these are exchange users got it there is input quick 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 I like how Bhanu, you taken literally the points I mentioned in the morning. I said psychology. Like, I said design. Uh, like they, uh, those points were related. Right? Like, like uh, I didn't want to miss those points as well. Right, right. Very smart. Okay, if no one has any point, should we move on? Yeah. Okay, I think this is very apt, accurate, nice. Again, uh, identify places of inspiration: cafe, coffee, date, restaurant. Hotels, parks, shopping malls, library, traveling. What is traveling? Like generally, uh, people uh, who want to visit different different places in a single day. Like in the sense, in the same location, maybe visit new places. So basically, you're saying outdoor people, like. Yeah, like uh, this is a place where we want to take inspiration, right? So, uh, in traveling, while traveling, we we might see many people, uh, families coming together. Yeah. Okay, traveling, hiking. I'm not so sure. Because so I'm not so because traveling is an activity; it's not a place. So are you saying specific points where people travel to? Or yeah, like uh, points. Like uh, how, how exactly should I tell you that? Uh, uh, maybe a yes, uh, uh, good place like maybe Taj Mahal. I just wanted to take inspiration because the Taj Mahal. From that one. Okay, so you're seeing uh, tourist spot. Yeah, yeah like exactly. That. Tourist spots. Okay. Okay. Like many people uh, come and go there, right? So I just wanted to ex explore like how connections, uh, how how they generally being connected, like what they speak and how they uh, react to each other. I just wanted to know that. So I also included those things okay. like in a broader way. Okay. And when you're saying social media, you can elaborate on that, like specifically what? So are you talking okay. about specific apps or specific? Um, platforms because so basically guys this is your guide so when you are going about your interview and your observation you don't need to do any thinking it's literally you just follow this and you keep that yeah uh, i would just uh, elaborate that as you're telling yeah that's fine cool guys any input or should we move on okay again should i continue uh, these are just like i just uh, didn't mention all the exact details who i'm going to test with uh, oh yeah i forgot for you uh, in that segment where you identified your users you will have to make your list like write down the names of those people and uh, one thing like uh, uh, how could we identify like uh, is it among us? Uh, like we are interviewing among us, right? Like we don't. So I didn't write those names because uh, I don't know like whom I'm going to interview. I just kept that like this. Okay, ठीक है. But uh, make sure tomorrow definitely you finalize at least twenty people that you want to interview because you guys have three people in your team. Okay. So even if you roughly get about I don't know six to seven people per person. Oh, uh, like uh, uh, what? Not just in our team, but also from outside. You are telling. Yeah, yeah. So you guys are three people. So each person, whose friends, family, six to seven people at least. Okay. So, uh, dip into your circle, your social circle, your friends, your families, whoever you know. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Okay. Um, so yeah, once that is done, definitely fill this up. Yeah, sure. That's cool. Okay. Again. Yeah, should I and continue? You, know, you guys don't have any questions on this bit, right? You guys are clear about this. No, as I'm should asking, Bhanu, Swati, and Salman. 
yeah we can we are okay yeah, yeah we like can ask these were things like we are looking for and salman me and swati were uh, uh, just uh, made this thing empty because we don't know like whom we are going to interview so we just uh, mentioned that uh, person we was already having experience so we can just find those category people okay okay yeah. fine cool yeah and <laughs> i didn't separate this thing because uh, until last five minutes we uh, we were able to just get all the questions so i didn't made into specific and broad these two are combined now you made in are just a minute i will just zoom appropriate okay are there more questions and that 25 that's it okay uh, input guys so like uh, uh, here uh... like uh, i like the questions but uh, again uh, as i uh, like uh, as i have said about amina's question that those questions uh, these questions are very like uh, single uh, yes or no kind of question uh, questions so basically we will get only like uh, very specific answer over here like uh, till the eight or nine question there are no like uh, open ended questions over there so if so if um uh like till the uh, nine, eight nine question you are asking just yes no yes no yes no question and also there are questions like uh, where you are asking direct questions to the users where maybe we will get some uh, uh, there are chances to getting some wrong answers over there so i think uh, i know uh, later on you are going to like uh, simplify it but still the yeah. suggestion is that uh, if uh, till after like four five questions i think we have to uh, getting on the uh, point where we need the uh, like uh, information so uh, i think uh, yes yeah, from, from the fifth five fifth or sixth question you have to start rate right, to ask the open ended questions so then can um, because if you uh, like if you ask uh, keep asking uh, like uh, yes no questions or uh, specific questions then there are chances user, user can get uh, bored or uh, he might be he lose the interest of uh, interest uh, lose the interest to basically yeah i got your point takas like uh, you are telling that flow or like everything is yes or no questions like uh, this is not right. exactly the flow like yes, basically right. we just came out with all the questions all the different different uh, type, uh, types of questions we can ask so firstly uh, we just uh, made open ended uh, like uh, close ended questions yes or no questions we just came up with uh, questions which are closely ended and then we uh, uh, slowly entered into questions which uh, can be elaborated like why are you looking for partner what is the purpose of using uh, you are using dating apps like we uh, slowly try to uh, Uh, improve the question uh, ex- uh, explore the new answers like from 15 onwards you can see that uh, uh, there are some questions uh, which are more exploratory so like I, i that's what like i i didn't find time to segregate these things and uh, uh, separate according to the flow yeah that uh, you are right like i just need to separate those things yeah that that's the second thing i which i need to do yeah i want to ask you is that uh, like what is the good practice if uh... like um, uh, making a long uh, i'm just asking for my understanding not for this so making a long list of uh, like uh, direct question for uh, at the start and then literally going uh, go slowly on the topic or uh, like you, you have to make it short because uh, i think that if you are like going for a long question i then there are chances that user can get bored or uh, you will not get that uh, you know 
actual data which you want so uh, what is the good practice uh, in your suggestion okay so um, yeah you have a valid point that uh, you can't have a long list of questions because that definitely tends to make your audience your you your interviewee lose interest so in ideal practice not for you guys because you guys this is your first attempt but in ideal practice um you should have about 8 to 10 questions okay because what happens is that when you have those 8 to 8, eight to 10 powerful questions okay very powerful questions then once you have those questions what happens is when you're interviewing them automatically when you ask question 1 you will be doing five four five follow up questions Like maybe you do five, five. Uh, you will be doing five wise to it, or you'll be doing laddering to it, or whatever. But basically, these ten top points, so you know, have to be covered. Uh, sometimes also, what happens is even if you have an exhaustive list of questions, that is also fine. But it's important to remember how relevant it is. So sometimes while interviewing them, you will realize that okay, I think question number six doesn't make sense to them. No point asking them this. So move on. so that awareness has to be there you can't be like okay 25 questions are there so i'm going to ask them these 25 questions sorry about the disturbance yeah so um so improvisation is very crucial for when you're doing your interview but for beginning i think it's fine if you have so many questions um what you all could do and which i think you guys will be doing tomorrow is clubbing them up into those buckets Yes. So maybe what will happen is that if you have five questions, uh, to know, like generic questions to know about them, by the time you reach the third question, you kind of got a sense of who they are. Then leave the fourth and fifth question. Let it be. Move on. So that little awareness on the spot that will come with time. Yeah. Cool. Uh, anybody else? Any input? Or should we move? Yeah. On? Uh, there are some questions like. Uh... Yeah, what type of characters you would be looking for and partner? These type of questions are mostly uh, related to like a matrimony type of thing, not the dating application, right? The partner. No, no. Partner, it can partner, be used uh, used in uh, dating as uh, apps as well. Like uh, while you are using dating app, you want to know like what type of person is like. Maybe uh, he is uh, an astronaut. Maybe he is uh, just a normal employee or. You want to know what characters like uh, does it ring? Yeah, they uh, in the dating app they will mention their uh, things, but uh, mostly if it if at all they are looking for a partner uh, like thing, they will go for a matrimony website, not for the dating application. Like right? no, 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 partner in the sense it doesn't mean you are marrying him. It means that you are you want to uh, make a new connection, you want to make a new friend, or you want to make a new. Uh, what do you say a girlfriend or a boyfriend whatever it is like partner in the sense a new connection like what type of qualities you look for a new partner maybe or just replace a partner with your friend you can uh, yeah, that, uh, get a sense fine. yeah, yeah with, without using that word partner like new connection is better like yeah we can just replace that that's what like i didn't uh, purify all the like partner is like uh, okay and different thing fine fine yeah i'll just filter out those things like i didn't find time to filter out <laughs> Cool. Uh, but actually, it's interesting you say that, Joginder, because literally three days back, a friend got married who met his wife on Tinder. So uh, on? I did not on. Met his wife on Tinder. So when I I don't know for me, you don't associate Tinder with meeting your partner. I know that it's just something you do not do. But the thing is, it's surprising that that does happen. So. and a place like bumble so that is another thing you guys should check out what is the opinion that people have about tinder and bumble so i have spoken to people who use tinder and people who use bumble and um it's very different the opinion which means the purpose of it is very different so the assumption is that people use tinder for hookups and people use bumble to find somebody more meaningful not necessarily true but that is the belief so it will be interesting for you to ask that and what do you think that is for what do you think this is for So think about that. Cool. Um, okay. So, um, but that's a valid point that he brought up. That to just start reframing those questions a little bit, which you will be doing tomorrow. Um, I was anyway going to say that you'll have to refine your order, which you will be doing tomorrow. I yeah. this is you just dumb the questions, which is fine. Um, also, based on what we discussed for the previous team, the whole thing about those three segments from that article, you could refer to that. 
to chunk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll just go to that as well. Yeah, and then I think that'll be fine. Otherwise, good to go. Most important, just the order because that felt like a little concern. But okay, I know that you didn't have time, so you'll be working on that. Yeah. Okay. And also, like uh, I didn't uh, specifically uh, kept in order because uh, I just wanted to know and ans get answers of these questions. Maybe the order could could change uh, according to the answers. So I didn't uh, specifically uh, kept in that order. So, for example, you have um, I noticed something. I don't remember where. Okay, so for example, this question of what concerns do you have while entering question number seven? What concerns do you have while entering your personal details into dating app? And question number eight yeah. is: Have you ever tried using the dating app? So I'm assuming that that sequence you will have to sort out. Acha, okay, uh, yeah, yeah, that's a different thing. Like I just dumped the questions because we are brainstorming like what questions we three are getting. I'm just typing it down. Then I thought of uh, segregating later on. Yeah, and Akash's point also is valid. That whole thing of. Um, being able to strategize where you want to put yes no questions which are also important and where you want to put how why questions yeah okay um but otherwise i loved that you opened it up and you asked a lot of questions about their general life about generally in life what kind of partners they looking for what is their expectations from it which is great so everybody please make sure you put in those questions cool um are we done or do you have yeah uh, this is the last slide like uh, propping questions i didn't uh, prepare that maybe we can use some other methods yeah, yeah. things to see observations uh, no like this is a task which i did yesterday morning uh, sorry uh, today morning like the task which you gave yesterday okay no yeah if if possible if i should i will show just a moment Okay, so here no, no 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 questions here only the points you want to observe. Yeah, things to see. Yeah, what what might be like this was done yesterday. That's fine. So basically, whatever you can, whatever data you can gather through your eyes will come. Yeah, I thought of getting some other finding things, mental models, etc. <laughs> A lot of things I just written it down. Okay, cool. Thank you so much. This is great. Just the few iterations that you mentioned. Otherwise, good job. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, no thanks for feedback as well. No okay, next team, quickly, quickly, quickly. It's eight five. Okay, give me a minute. I'll just put my phone on charge. In the meantime, please share your screen. Can you see my screen? Yeah, it's visible. Okay. Ma'am, it's still incomplete. Okay. Perfectly fine. So, like, uh, we were in lots of uh, doubts. Uh, which point where to go? And uh, after like uh, seeing these two. Uh, Like a uh, research plans and uh, your feedback on it, we like. Uh, I got like pretty clear idea that what uh, needs to be done. So I'll, uh, uh, of course, we are gonna to uh, like uh, rectify this uh, thing. So we have to combine our points. No problem. You need to combine. You're saying. Yeah. Uh, no, this is much uh, like. Like we have, like still we have to add some points. That's totally fine. So what we'll do for you guys is we'll go through each sheet and you guys tell me what you think you want to add to it. ठीक है? Okay. Oh, okay. uh, why people are switching to online dating? How people change their mindset post COVID? There are plenty of well-known apps for dating and social connection. This third point is definitely Akash's point. Yes. Help in on convincing people to move to Bombay, which is good, but yeah.
Okay. What uh, What do you want to add to this? So like uh, basically, uh, how might we section? We have to. We are going to add some more questions. So basically, what's the thing that uh, at the first the lead to, like uh, the point I put it in, in the why uh, like I want to know more about. So the need to uh, I wanted to like uh, understand the user's tendency uh, regarding uh, like online dating basically. Mm -hmm. So that point I wanted to put it in the like how might we because mm -hmm. I wanted to explore more about that. But later on, like uh, while uh, discussing it, we uh, put it in the like I want to know more about. So that there are some points that we are not like uh, trying to figure out uh, and uh, like where to put and what. So okay. So one thing, guys, it's not um, you know set in stone. It's not hard and fast. Which point goes under which section? It is just if you if you notice while you were sitting with each of these, it made you think a lot, right? Mm -hmm. That is the only agenda. The point is to just make you open up your mind. start divergent thinking and just start thinking about it so if a question is in i want to know more about instead of how might we that's fine it is just to pin down all your thoughts about it so don't worry about those small details um okay uh, the points we are, uh, we are put it over that very generic like we are not like uh, on a like we are not pointing out any specific uh, problem or any specific thing we are trying to understand like uh, openly so that that's my uh, first thought about that they uh, they are not like very uh, they are like there are two three points where uh, bumble specific but others are more about understanding the problem uh, trying to understand the things not uh, focusing on any particular problem okay. what input does everybody want to give yeah i was thinking like uh, people are afraid it's not like like people are afraid about getting misuse of their personal info uh, like it's like a statement right it is a statement uh, but that's also fine okay that's also fine but i would say that if you're putting one statement like that then i'm pretty sure there should be more statements like that because you either go one method where you just have things as your topics or you go another method where you have a whole bunch of statements okay uh, so i'm thinking you guys are still thinking about what more to add yes that's fine so okay. here is basically where you will add um So, okay. For example, point number two: help people change their mindset post COVID. Your assumption is that you need to change their mindset. You don't know if you need to change their mindset. Yeah. So, like, uh, basically, what the thought over here that uh, during this COVID situation, there are like, uh, there are maybe uh, like uh, as I used to be like very uh, uh, like uh, like I I wanted uh, like मतलब पूजे घर में बैठ के रहना अच्छा नहीं लगता था. So I used to be meet people and going out and uh, having. Uh, like uh, uh, parties and all so during this covid uh, period i i got totally isolated uh, in my home so i trying to like understand people that uh, what's how they are uh, uh, tackling this problem and what they are planning to uh, uh, like how can uh, like uh, there are many people who are planning that after uh, finishing the lock lockdown we are going to like uh, uh, trip to mahabaleshwar and all so i am trying to understand that did this covid situation affect their relationship with any with friends or uh, when you are like dead and uh, that how you are uh, sorting out this thing right now and how can uh, you like make it better in the post covid so that's okay. the like overall idea to like basically i am trying to understand the uh, users state of mind and if he is like in the any like situation then how can i Uh, help him to uh, come out to be better uh, after covid situation so basically that's the rough idea over here so basically you're saying understanding what their current mindset is and if they need help what kind of help they would need yeah 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 all right and yeah i haven't put it in the right word but that's, that's the thoughts okay um 
what i feel though is maybe a few more points related to the general idea of connecting with people blended okay. okay. so maybe i'll go think about adding those okay but apart from that i think it's fine do you guys have any specific questions because you all seem a little um, like concerned little worried yes ma'am we were confused about extreme users i was saying it is for people okay, we'll come there we'll come there but in this in the sheet any questions or you guys good no no it's not in yeah the... i have a point uh, that uh, you know i already know is the second point there should be a different look and feel for different modes sorry sorry uh, the second point there should okay. be a different look and uh, feel for different modes right okay so like uh, actually uh, uh, there was a like very uh... yeah yeah i got your point but it's uh, the point is uh, the thought is yours not all the all the users right 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 you are yeah basically we are designers like uh, we have to research and come to the conclusion we should uh, we should not uh, design as per our thoughts we should design as per the research and as per the uh, point we came right yeah. you feel that yeah uh, you should you should, we should have to, uh, different look but i feel that uh, why, uh, it should look all uh, same there is no need of uh, uh, feeling different because i feel like uh, uh, three different ui three different categories it's like three different apps Okay. I I don't want like that. I want uh, look uh, everything similar. So maybe you could put that in a I want to know more about question. Yes, exactly. Because uh, I I already know me uh, that not come from there. Yeah, yeah. Like like a valid point. Actually, I haven't thought about that. But yeah, thanks for that. So this is for everyone. Is I want you all to review your research plan after it's done. And any any sentence that sounds in this page especially sounds like your own belief. be aware of that any sentence that does not sound like a fact it sounds like your own belief uh move that out and put that in i want to know more so then you know that awareness ki okay, this is my belief wait what do other people think about what do the actual users think about okay so uh, because i noticed that in in both the other research plans as well there were a few belief based quest uh, points so move those out um in your i already know your questions are all bumble related so um maybe you could put a few more non bumble yes online dating or relationship related okay cool you know i i want to know more uh, in your section in the i already know okay okay so all your three questions are bumble related yeah yeah so make sure you cover three aspects for sure one is bumble theek hai second is zooming out a little bit online dating zooming out a little bit dating relationships connections in general so make sure you cover those three layers theek hai okay let's move on so uh, here's to like okay college student okay um like i haven't uh, like uh, make the we make make that separate uh, like categories like uh, other people did i thought that uh, uh, i'm like uh, we are differentiating from age of a bracket from 21 to 30 and in that age bracket who were like uh, looking for a partner or connecting new people they are our uh, core audience so basically that's the thought over here Okay, that's also fine. ठीक है. If you want to look at it by that point point of view, also that's fine. So then you are being very specific. Age twenty one to thirty. I don't know why you are stuck on twenty one to thirty. Okay. Because the these uh, these are the age bracket who like uh, like not uh, like almost use the dating because after तो शादी के बाद कौन करता है? So that's the point. You never know. You never know. Uh, But and Nandini, I just have a small note regarding uh, audience. Like I just mentioned, uh, uh, people aged above forty as extended audience. Like extended audience are like people uh, who just want to know what their opinions are, or uh, is it specifically uh, the people who are who are gonna use that? So um, it could be both. Okay. 
it could be both it's basically definitely somebody who's not a um, is not your regular user so it could be somebody who doesn't use it frequently it could be so extended audience could also be extreme user okay there is someone for whom it is not designed for or it could be someone who um it could be maybe a parent of a person who uses these apps okay so uh, age above 40 could be that section right like i was thinking of that from that time age above 40 age above 40 the reason i'm thinking is that maybe yes maybe the maximum frequency is 21 to 30 and uh, the lesser amount is above 40 so maybe yeah okay so 30 to 30 uh, like uh, above 30 could be a good good point i guess above 30 could be extended audience yeah i'm thinking that way like 30 uh, below 30 would be the people uh, generally look for a partner or some connections no uh, i would suggest before you jump to that do a little research okay and see yes yes maybe, maybe, maybe you anyone. feel like that but uh, if at all you interview about 30 people then we get an idea yeah i yeah that's a good point yeah because if i'm not wrong i think bumble has a section for divorces also Mm-hmm. Okay. In the preferences, I think there is one thing where you can select, and you could say that you are a divorcee looking for a divorcee. Okay. Yeah, I should look into that. Yeah, I'll just look into that. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks. So if uh, the, that uh, like if we are including divorcee also, so that uh, so that uh, will fall in the extended audi- uh, audience, right? Because the core audience means uh, the users who are like. very regular and frequent users of your uh, product and the extended audience uh, maybe they they are there are chances to be a, a, a like a frequent user but they are not frequent user right now so that's the extended audience right? see um that's what i'm saying ki you are making assumptions we don't know so maybe um it's i don't maybe you know your core audience is actually like if you do research maybe your core audience is actually 40 to 50 who knows maybe because at that age it's harder to date someone who's... so they need a platform to help them you, i don't know okay. so we are making assumptions we don't know for sure but the point of this segment is to just map out so it's just basically core audience me the first thing you came was age 21 to 30 done who else do you think so that's about it okay so don't so guys don't get stuck on these labels okay it's just to push you guys to think that's about it okay again like for example uh, there was some survey i don't remember when that came out i think about amazon and uh, where is their most users in india and the assumption is who do you think where do you think most of the users are in india for amazon mumbai okay okay uh- How can we see? Like uh, there are many cities in India, right? Like maybe a uh, village could be one. Like I don't know. Like we need to. Uh... <coughs> But what's your first thought? Maybe Bangalore could be one because Met- many. Uh, uh, yeah, Oof. Bangalore could be one. Basically, yeah. metros. Or metro cities, basically. Yeah, basically metros. I'm sorry to disappoint you guys. Their main users are from tier two, tier three cities. Not metros, because yeah. a lot of the products that you get on Amazon they do not get in their cities, mm-hmm. and um, and they have the money to pay for it. They can afford it. It's just that service they need to carry. So Amazon is actually making a lot of their money on tier two, tier three cities. So we see the assumption that we've made. Mm-hmm. So we've got to be a little more cautious about that. Okay. Uh, users, experts, extreme users, college students, college students, professionals, students. Your users are nice. Why? Like uh, that's uh, like the Sapis uh, Sophie. Or, sorry, how can I pronounce Shafi's uh, suggestion? Like uh, like social workers are uh, like kind people of people who get um um I don't know. Shafi thoughts. Like he was mm-hmm. talking about mental health. Like uh, uh, people yeah. who are online dating uh, about their mental health. We can take that uh, 
uh, uh, some interview about that from some social worker. Wonderful. Yeah. I think that's very relevant. Uh, because, yeah, so there are, because if you think about online dating, there are two aspects of it. First, of mental health related to dating. So emotional trauma. Yeah. And the other is also um, social media. Being on social media also has its trauma. Like a lot of people are going for counseling now because yes. of the impact. And of also, um, if they are not getting matches, they are getting disappointed sometimes. And that's why they are quitting. So that's the point. We added social worker. Okay. Makes sense. Uh, extreme users. You yeah. don't have. So yeah, so I was like uh, confused about that. So uh, I because you were saying uh, like extreme users are basically the users who are using it extremely. Yeah, that's my that's point was no, we are uh, extreme users are users which we are ignoring. Like basically, we are not designing for them. Like we are uh, unintentionally we are ignoring them. Like blind people, aged people. Okay. I will, after this session, I will share with you all a video on uh, extreme users. Um, it's around the potato peel, okay, where they redesigned uh, the potato peeler for an extreme user. Chik, I will show that to you all later. You all can watch that later. You all will get a better understanding. Okay, so extreme users basically uh, someone for whom it is not designed. It is someone who's on the fringe. One second, guys. Okay, okay. I have a visual. I will show you all after this thing. Okay. Candidates. Wow, you have a full name. Wonderful. Set. Actually, we. Uh, uh, I have some like UX designer, so I thought that we I'll get uh, experts uh, interviews, and uh, they uh, luckily I have friends who are uh, using uh, lots of data like data. Yeah, we can. Because I have one friend, he's not using Bumble, but he's using Tinder. So we can also interview him. Definitely, like, yes. Why you are using Tinder and not Bumble? Like No, no, not why you using Tinder. Get away from that. Yeah. If you're not trying to sell people Bumble, you're trying to understand people's um, experience on online dating. Okay. You're not trying to tell them that we have this offer, hai, please ab Bumble use. Karo. You're not doing that to them. We can ask questions like, uh, what what is the most uh, uh, like important thing uh, do you think should exist in Bumble? We can ask like uh, questions like this, right? Yeah, you can ask in online dating, what are some features that you'd like? Or you could ask like, uh, yeah. What things that you see and what disappoints you? Yeah, what disappoints you about it? You can definitely ask those kind of questions. Surprisingly, people are very aware of what they want to see in their app. In fact, they'll only start off giving you ideas ki aisa aisa feature hona chahiye, ye hona chahiye and all. So, take that all in. Okay. Uh, Instagram, Facebook, coffee shop, restaurant, malls, parks. Theek hai. Theek hai. Cool. Now the fun part. The questions. Questions. Hi nahi hai. So, basically like I know the users so I uh... Okay. Sorry. Users. Okay, so what I would suggest though is um, user type perfect, very nicely written, very crisp. Make your user description also like that. So put it in bullets and follow a, um, a structure like that. Okay. So maybe the first is their profession, maybe first is their age, second is their profession, third is their personality, where you're saying introvert and shy, fourth is any other point. So it stays consistent. I can consistently see between all of them what is their user description. Okay, okay, I'll do that. Cool. Guys, this is really nice. You all could also see and you know maybe uh, flesh yeah, out like types like how, how could I outsource people who are experts? If I don't know any uh, experts or uh, I don't know anyone who is expert as uh, at these things, like who, uh, who already designed these type of things, like how could I out outsource those people? So I think over here, uh, you, know, you don't need like any specific person who already designed any dating or or social media. So basically, if he is an UX designer, he like he has like a rough idea about uh, these things. So we can get uh, general information. Not it's not specifically should be he has should he should have any uh, dating app designing background or something. So 
i don't i also don't have any person who is like specifically work on dating apps but they are uh, user exp- like have some experience in uh, ux design so i am like taking the i'm going to take the interview so for the last cohort or i think two cohorts back uh, i told them they asked the same question that how do we do this with experts i told them just start cold messaging people on linkedin be <laughs> like i am a designer because in the future you would have to not cold message but you will be making connections so just start and out of 10 people maybe 10 people will will uh, ignore you okay <laughs> they all will ignore you but try that out i don't know maybe something will come out you know like uh, uh, before uh, this i was just doing some uh, part time internship with, uh, for like uh, influencing uh, we we are about to, we want to create one influencer app where influencers and uh, business uh, persons can collaborate so basically we wanted to take uh, influencers interviews and we don't have any influencer contact so what we do did uh, we like find out uh, like we created literally 100 people uh, influencers list uh, from the instagram and we just started uh, we like write down one good message about uh, our uh, re- like purpose of uh, research and we started sending them so out of like those 100 people we literally got three four replies and out of that uh, we literally took uh, one or two persons uh, interview so that that is the ratio but yeah maybe you could do that also on instagram find out people who talk about online dating and just randomly keep messaging them <laughs> nicely don't be creepy be, yeah be professional but you could try that out depend on how crazy you want to go you want to randomly go on the street you can do that also and be like <laughs> one don't mind yeah. but yeah, yeah up to you how you want to go it okay cool next so after that sorry like uh, we don't come up with very really, like a uh, list of questions just and think... we have questions like we have to merge them that's fine but and, uh, uh, questions we have like some questions but uh, actually uh, me i am personally not like very satisfied that those questions because uh, just asking uh, like uh, just uh, putting out some questions uh, which uh, i am not able to agree so that i haven't uh, put it in the list because i wanted to make sure that the whatever questions i am going to is that uh, i am getting uh, the desired information which i want so that's why i like uh, haven't put it in the list so okay so first thing don't overthink it okay um, just refer to those few resources that you have uh, referred to that i have shared and just start dumping questions start putting it you could do a trial at least do that so Mom, maybe I with a list of questions sorry should i share i have a list of questions share yeah, share i'll put in chat so okay so i came up with this question yesterday night so I still have to edit okay. them again. Okay, let me just quickly go through them. It was basically specific to Bumble, and that's fine. So I'll have to add general questions. That's fine. Okay, what do you guys think about these questions? So I like uh, six question that uh, how long it takes to uh, match and are you happy with that waiting period? So you will get very like uh, informative answers from there. Yeah, I'm sure the guys will be like, "Arey, <laughs> my life, I'm getting old on this app." <laughs> huh. Okay. Yeah, that's a very good question. Very insightful question that is. Actually, what I did is I made three types of user. Like one is which is uh, one user which is already using Bumble, and one is is not using any dating apps, and third one is is using other dating apps. Mm. So for person who is not using, so I had asked them. Uh, I did questions about like, what is your major concerns 
for not using online dating apps but i'll share that why are you guys so scared to share your questions what is the fear you got good questions so this questions are basically for the person who is not using any dating apps any online dating apps theek hai so you have your questions uh, in place these are good questions just the structuring which you guys will anyway do yeah. but otherwise these are solid questions like this question that uh, what do you consider the most important factor in your matches it may not be directly relevant to you creating this thing but it's important to know hmm. so you need to guys need to remember this that it's not key literally you want to only know what they're dating um you know dating activities you want to know more about them as people so maybe somebody will be like i actually don't care about physical attraction which is a lie but maybe somebody will be that and they will be uh, like i care about personal personality or something like that and then maybe you'll have to think oh no then that means the app is totally functioning differently you know so i don't know so you have to keep your eyes ears everything open and ask broad questions for all of you all don't limit yourself just to online dating and bumble ask a random question like um habits your habits what is your patience like how patient what what do you think are you a very patient person and uh, generally how long do you wait for anything that will give you a sense of how much they'll wait on your app also no yeah i kind of broader but related to the uh, interview so broader as in so you can ask analogous questions which is basically behavior that you can see that they will that is there in dating but also that you can see somewhere else. so you can ask them related to that also we can ask like uh, uh, do you prefer women taking the first step in conversations like they are taking uh, coming forward uh you could ask that but you could reframe it because um see because i i could be wrong again this could be my assumption my mistake but it could be like women will be like ha huh, definitely then we'll be like no this is what a waste of my time so maybe you could reframe that in another another way ask yourself what data do you want to collect from that question what do you, what information do you want from that question you basically want to know so if you're saying uh, do you prefer women you want to know what you want to know about safety do you want to know about equality do you want to know about time duration what what do you really want to know like i want to know like boys are okay if uh, women are uh, coming forward and starting conversation with them like some boys they will say like yeah i am not okay with that okay if you want to put that as a question then you then this type of question will need a follow up question yeah like, maybe what is their suggestion yeah or, or how do you how do they think that the safety of the men and women can be kept but ensuring that the men also get equal chance to talk to take initiative that is a very very direct question don't use it directly but you know what i mean that that question by itself that you gave that do you prefer is inadequate you'll have to add more points to that cool but these are terrific questions um just flesh this up as per see this question that you have over here about uh, okay this is about lying which is also an interesting question will be i would be curious to know what they would say so about their behavior but also to find out things about um what lifestyle do they have what is their income like what do they spend money on you know do they believe on a very luxury life or do they believe on simple things not spending too much and that will tell you a little more on what kind of expectation they would have maybe from their dating also i don't know but just get a better sense of them cool any questions Should we move on, guys? Yes. Okay. Okay. Anything else you guys want to show, or should we move on? Are you guys feeling better about your research plan now? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, pretty much clear about it. 
i hope so too so um basically the point is we have short period of time and lot of thing to uh, research and think about and then we have to yeah. that is the main uh, you know barrier yes that is the main so if you can see can you see my screen yeah yep yes so this is the whole point of an extreme user so in this bell curve these are the people who use your product actively and these are the people who are far less but they do use your product so you end up generally people uh, gen generally designers you design for this chunk because it's very difficult to even think about these points so this is how it looks visually um there's another thing that i found which was interesting Hi, I'm back. I uh, had a power cut and I got disconnected. Okay, forget it. Um, I will share those with you all in your resources. But you all got a sense of what an extreme user is, right? Yeah, yeah. Yes. Okay, cool. Do you guys have any more questions, or do you guys are feeling good to go ahead with your research plan? Good to go. Cool. Uh, one point for all of you all is this phase is divergent thinking. most of you all i'm observing you all are doing convergent thinking you all are converging down to your bumble this thing so divergent thinking divergent thinking divergent thinking think out of the box think think about random things like literally look at um the relationship between a father and son and think about how would this can i extract anything from this can i get any insight from this for a dating app look at randomest of things look at the relationship between a dog and his owner and think about okay the affection that they're showing and the way they interact with each other can i extract any insight from this for a dating app so just look everywhere like everything is relevant making sense yeah okay so tomorrow we will not be having a session you all working in your teams on your research plan uh i would suggest that by by 3 4 o'clock share your research plan with me because i don't trust you guys i think we will till friday evening be doing only your research plan so by 3 4 o'clock share your research plan with me and then start your interviews because by friday afternoon your interviews need to be done oh shit okay so like uh, on the friday we have to uh, give reports of the like uh, Sub subject like submission yeah. Ma'am, yesterday you had given us tasks about double diamond reflection. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 Most of you all didn't put it up only. I saw. I yeah, saw. I, I did, but I wanted to set back. Did, but you wanted to. Feedback. I want feedback from you. Okay, okay. I will look at it and I will uh, message you. Yeah, sure. Okay. Um. Okay, so let's do it this way. So tomorrow by four p.m. tomorrow by 4 pm uh, submit your final final research plan then immediately get on to your interview at least do two interviews it can be exhausting so at least do two interviews by friday afternoon by friday 12 ish okay is it once your interviews uh, are done two or group like uh, two group interviews group. for single person or is it for a group in your group Okay, each group should at least do two interviews. At least, actually, no. Each group at least do three. Okay. ठीक है, at least do three. Uh, then what you do is whatever points you found out, whatever observations you made, put them up on post-its in Miro board. Okay. 
and that will be your submission and then on friday i think at 4 pm or 5 pm i think 5 pm is your review with ishita so you will take her through um your research plan you'll take her through your understanding of double diamond whatever your research plan and your post its Oh uh, sorry, uh, Nandita. What is the last point? Your post-its. Which is the uh, insights from the interview? Not insights. Um, observation. The points that you have gathered, your data that you collected from your interview. So that okay, so point will be. The, those are the insights, right? Like if I'm, uh, uh, I'm taking interviews and whatever find points I'm getting, like uh, insights getting from that interview. So those insights should be. Uh, I mean, like, uh, put it on the uh, Miro. I have to put it on the Miro. Right? Okay. So those will not be insights because on Monday you will have a session on how to extract insights from your data. Okay. What you will be collecting is only data. It's only information. Okay. So I am uh, taking interviews. In, uh, if I am taking it uh, online interviews, then I have to record the screen and uh, upload it on the. No. Video. No. No. So no. what you do is if you're taking online interview, so you will be taking notes of your interview. Yeah. Like so, whatever answers I'm getting. So literally, those notes you will put them into little little post-its okay. and put them up on your mirror board. Okay. 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 I'm sensing confusion. No, no. Uh, I I was clear. I thought that uh, uh, till the like uh, till uh, till the Friday evening, I have to uh, find out insights and uh, no, no. so uh, I'm confused with that. No, no. Okay, so. so Basically, the I'm taking interviews and uh, whatever uh, notes or uh, whatever the points I'm getting from that interviews, I have to just put it in the uh, Miro sticky notes. Yeah, and when you put it in Miro, also one extra step you will do is you will organize it. Yeah. How is yeah. at least put them in buckets. Okay. Maybe you want to stick to the themes that you have selected, or uh, maybe while you're talking to them, you identified certain things they sound painful to them. Like such certain things they are not happy with, or certain things they are happy with. So you put them in separate buckets. That these are things they are happy with. These are things they are not not happy with. Okay. Or these are they thought about relationships. So that's a separate bucket. So it becomes easy for Ishita to quickly go through what you guys have done. Got it. Got it. So your post-it could be a, a quote, maybe an interesting quote that they said that is very valuable. It could be words. Maybe they said words like disappointing, upsetting, boring, whatever words. It could be um, even basic sentences that you have drawn out. Okay. I'm sensing little tension with all of you. Not, uh, not tension. No, 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 ma'am. Like we are a bit confused, like uh, how how to uh, gather, uh, like how to uh, dump that data into Miro, like uh, like how exactly should we uh, uh, make that data? Like should we exactly write what they are told, or should we exactly uh, like points okay. basically in points? Like if you are asking what are your thoughts about relationship or online dating, so you can just point out what they said. So no, he is saying that uh, if we are like Ishita will be reviewing everyone's uh, that's uh, what is it, what do you say thesis right? So we have to dump it into a particular uh, in, the, uh, in the sense um, shareable Miro or where we have to dump it. That's what he is asking. I think that that's okay. my question also. So you already have your Miro board, no? That you guys are using? Yeah. Yes. So I have like my personal uh, mirror board, which like created by my account only. So I'm working on that. So that's okay. So you all will also have to collaborate. So somebody make a common team or a common uh, mirror board and um, yeah, share it. Like for the entire. Uh, the whole group. Whole group the... or a particular groups. Uh, I think particular group is fine. If you want to do whole group also, it's fine. There's no hard and fast, but you can do in your particular group also. See, it is just for Ishita to see it. If you don't want to do that also, you could just do it on XD or Figma or PPT or wherever. Just put it and just show. No, no, no. The problem is how she will get these data uh, unless so until we share. 
it's going to be a f- like this it will be a session she will be asking you questions <gasps> okay 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 yeah. fine 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 like nandini i uh, just wanted to ask you a different uh, like uh, like what i'm asking is that like once i have conducted interviews right i would be getting a lot of data like uh, i would be getting uh, Five to fifteen, uh, five to ten sentences for each question, mm-hmm. like broad, broaded questions. So mm-hmm. should I uh, cut that data down? Like should I uh, split that data and remove unnecessary things, or should I just exactly uh, make a note of that into the mirror? Like you you'll told that. Okay. So you will have to do that extra step of reviewing the data and cutting down whatever is unnecessary. Okay. So maybe so like- maybe the statements. Okay. I just have one question. Uh, till tomorrow, three uh, p.m. or four p.m. You are saying we have to submit our research plan only, right? Mm-hmm. After the means the whatever research we have done before the interview, right? Right. After the interview, after we conduct the interview, we just have to write the points in a simple plain A4 sheet paper. Means I'm just giving you an example. Yeah. Simple A4 sheet uh, uh, panel on the uh, laptop or whatever, and that thing should be. uploaded uh, into only that portion should be uploaded that means the questions should be uploaded into the miro or uh, the platforms right or the entire uh, uh, research uh, research plan should be again uploaded into mm-hmm. it means modified she will see your research plan also entire research plan okay so, so the research plan it, is it, a diff research plan is a different section and then after interview uh, the prof um, means page that should be different right okay so let me put it this way so basically every friday you will have a review okay this is going to be a format okay which is compulsory to for all of you to attend ishita will be taking these reviews maybe next week i'll only be taking it i'm not sure but anyway so ishita will be taking your review which means she will check what you have learned this whole week what is the work that you guys have done the two main things that you guys have done is your research plan and your interviews <clears throat> okay ideally from the next um, session onwards it would be great if you guys could do presentations where in a presentation you all could show what you all have done but i don't think you all will have the time for that that is why i'm suggesting that you all show your research plan as it is which is wherever it is on figma xd miro and you all show your points from your interview yeah. fine theek okay. hai look at it in terms of how you would want to present your work to her Like the questionnaire types, question and then answer. What not questions? necessarily question. No, 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 no. Not question and answer. It will be points that you will be pulling out. <clears throat> so out of the whole interview, uh, not the questions. Out of the whole interview, if you got say some, um, I don't know, some ten quotes and maybe some fifty words that you've written, then you will trim those down, pull out what you think is important, and you will put show those. Okay. Like bulletins. Bulletins or post-its or uh, yeah, bulletins also work. That's fine. But try and make it a little visual. This is a design program. Okay, like uh, you are saying, like um, uh, if I if uh, someone say that uh, I find it very um disappointing, so we should add some visual. No no no. Uh, no, 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 no. I'm just saying that um, it's a little tedious to read text. That's all. So if you could use that same text and put it in a post-it or put it as little. There yeah, are sticky notes in a micro, so you can huh. use those. Yes, Your okay. sticky notes, basically. Okay, fine. Your sticky notes. Sorry, sticky notes. Forget post-it. Sticky notes. Okay, you put those as little little sticky notes, and you're set. Okay. Okay, yeah. and then uh, some of them will be statements, which are statements that you know that words that they've actually used, their words, and some of them will be things that you have extracted from them. Okay, okay. I will share with you all. Actually, no, I will not share with you all. You guys do some research on how to um, how to organize data after interview. UX research how to organize data after interview. Share it in your uh, folder. Let's have a look at that, and maybe y'all could ping me or tell me that y'all have shared it. Let me have a look at it, and if I think y'all still need some more resources, I'll share. But y'all do that research. I I have uh, as you 
ठीक <coughs> Two to three interview per group. Uh, by Friday afternoon, you will have your data organized. Not you haven't found insight yet. Just organized for you to show Ishita. Your week one is done. The weekend you will, based on the feedback that Ishita gives, you will do another round of interviews this weekend. So that will be your proper interview. Okay. So where you will um, then you guys come up with at least ten interviewees per per group. Okay. spend your weekend doing that and organize your data and then monday uh, we'll do a session where we will discuss how to now find insights from your data so literally what you're doing now is trial run for your interview mm-hmm. okay cool so you do have the next 4 or 5 days to do more interviews so chill about that okay cool and i am available uh, if you guys want to ping me or you guys want to reach out for anything please please feel free to message me yeah okay yeah. how are you guys feeling you guys feeling good yeah a little bit concerned about how to uh, get the participants that's it yeah okay so what i would suggest is please let me know by tomorrow morning if you guys are not able to find participants then i will connect you guys to our sole product engineering uh, learners i will let them know i will inf- i will announce it in their channel that uh, you guys are doing research and you guys would want to reach out to them and then you all take it off from there then you guys start talking to them i will not okay yeah that just give us a lead then we can also yeah uh, first we'll try to find uh, outsource people from our side if we are not able to then uh, we'll just let you know yeah and that is a huge pool i think that's a good um, at least 100 learners so of which 10 people though will respond <laughs> so um so okay so let me know by tomorrow morning yeah sure okay cool bye guys thank bye. you bye bye bye, bye.